Hey there guys, Amwaral7 here coming at you from Richie Rich Labs. Today we're going to talk about some Nautica Below Zero on the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S. So listen up, Xbox Series S and S, <laughs> Xbox Series X and S video up a little bubble on top and this one is for the One X and the One S. And the results are honestly not so I'm surprised. I am surprised, not gonna lie. Compared to the launch of the original Subnautica, this is golden standard when it comes to performance. Uh, definitely the One S struggles a little bit, but let's talk about it. Alrighty, here we go. So Subnautica loading on the internal drive of the respective console, Xbox One X and S. Of course, they have an HDD and you're looking at like two minutes and 42 seconds on the One S and two minutes and nine seconds on the One X. Um, the thing is here is the One X is bringing out that advantage of just being able to turn, uh, my, my tongue today is like frozen. I've been playing too much Subnautica, but the thing is the One X is able to chew on it a little quicker than the One S and you can see it in some games. So definitely check out the playlist in my channel for those. Uh, so what I'm thinking here is, I think it's acceptable. Um, we're used to, you know, in this kind of console generation to do two, three minute loading stuff. But anyway, as you saw me, I canceled my syncing. The thing is, Xbox cloud saving with Subnautica, the first one, the original, which I'll have a video on the optimized version later this week. Let me know if how bad you want it and I'll in the comment section below and I'll prioritize it over Mass Effect. But anyway, the original Subnautica got the optimized for Series X and S update. And the thing is, it used to have a bug that will not let you uh, transfer your save file between consoles, Xboxes. And Subnautica Below Zero seems to have the same issue, at least for me. Let me know in the comment section below if yours does too, but I just, for the love of that amazing, beautiful penguin on that loading screen, I cannot get it to sync over to any of the other consoles, the One X, the One S, the Series S. Uh, that's why I started on the Series X, even though sometimes I usually start on the One S just to get the prime, you know, the bottom of the pit as to performance when I test, but I just can't. Let me know if you have a problem with that and hopefully we can go up on Reddit. I'm Richie Rich Labs on Reddit too and I'm trying to help, um, you know, Subnautica developers know what's up, what I find and hopefully you do too so this beautiful game can keep going because here's performance, Xbox One S and Xbox One X. Uh, 30 FPS, uh, I believe it's 900p on the One S. I, I'm pretty sure it's not 1080p. It looks a little too blurry to be 1080p and usually One S games stand around uh, 900p. Uh, Xbox Series X, 30 FPS also, and I mean, I'm sometimes confused. It looks native 4K, but also not, so probably 4, 800p is what I'm thinking. Uh, there's no separate game modes. You're stuck with 30, and that's reasonable. I mean, the CPU, we all know the Xbox One consoles just lack CPU power. Uh, but, but when it comes to GPU, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to get my thoughts out on the Xbox One S. It looks blurry, heck yes, it is blurry, but it doesn't look bad, you know, um, it definitely brings more, it's closer to that line of older games, you know, when you used to play Crisis, if you went from high to low settings, you knew, well, some other games too, not just Crisis, you would say, is this even the same game? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But Subnautica doesn't suffer from that, I would argue. It's um, pushing the boundaries, I would say, the edge on that, but definitely still a beautiful game which by the way get an hdr tv if you can this game looks beautiful on hdr now talking fps real quick one s will drop below 30 i do believe this has v-sync because we're not seeing we're not seeing the screen tearing uh, indicator come up so i think we have v-sync enabled just like in the original subnautica but yeah, when it comes to hectic stuff, we'll do the jellyfish field and we'll do a base test uh, in a little bit. But uh, yes, you're looking at definitely below 30 at times on the One S, which not surprising in my opinion. I still believe the perfect pricing for a One S should be $100 in my opinion. For $100, I think it delivers. Uh, One X should be 200 Disagree or agree? Let me know with a like or a dislike and subscribe to the channel to support these kinds of videos. Uh, guys, Xbox One X. It's definitely a lot more stable. Whenever I was playing, I could feel stutters on the One S. Um, but the One X, I didn't. It definitely here and there, it'll drop below uh, 30 at times, but 
it not not even close i would say to the one s and of course frame pacing uh there you saw it on the one s is like okay i'm struggling but come on guys let's give the one s a break uh one x the resolution in my opinion you add hdr to this baby and then you up put to 4k or 800p you got a blast i'm playing 30 fps i played on the one x for about over an hour and I got used to 30 FPS, but of course I'm a console player. I used to be PC, but then I switched to consoles. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's just definitely at 30. Subnautica feels good still. Uh, I still play at 60 if possible, but 30, you're gonna like it. You won't regret it in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you on Subnautica. Here you can see the jellyfish. I do believe uh, we're still having the VRAM differentiation between the Series S and the One S and the One X and the Series X that pop in. Oh yeah, loading of creatures on the One X and Series X I think happens less often and you can have more units at a time on the screen or more players or more npcs whatever you want to call them sea creatures monsters leviathans you can have more of those on screen at the same time uh, as you can see with the jellyfish uh, that's what I've, my feeling is but it could just be the illusion because they're so beautiful uh, but anyway let me know what you think then the series s and the one s the one thing though uh the one x suffers that the series s and the series x don't is uh texture popping uh it's when things don't load at their uh, actual resolution, uh, their target resolution. So you'll see some things look a little blurry, even at 4K or 800p on the One X, because it'll take some time for things to load in. Uh, definitely that's something you don't see with the SSD devices. But anyway, if you have any more questions, I enjoy this game, I can recommend it. I definitely think it's much better than the original Subnautica and performance levels, but it's different enough that I think you should play both. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm in Richie Rich Labs in 107, and I'll talk to you all next time. Peace out, guys.